These days, another six-foot legend, Isaiah Thomas, showcases his unique feel for the game. Basketball to me is a freedom. When I walk in between those four lines and the basketball court, nothing comes into my mind but basketball. He plays to create, and no NBA defense can confine his graceful form of self-expression. It's just incredible freedom that I have. It's, a, it's almost as a bird flying. When Isaiah takes flight, his imagination takes shape and seems to know no boundaries. is only part of his artistic repertoire. I would say the most satisfaction I get out of making a good pass is a score at the end of the pass. Just the idea of fooling somebody, of tricking somebody, or I say, oh, I caught you, boom. It just gives me a thrill. You know, I, I get a great sense of enjoyment out of it. A feeling he is quick to share. Dale Ellis quickly turns it around. Rebound by McHale. It's a 24-point game. Great pass to Jordan. That was a highlight. Ooh. It's like a magician. Like a, a magician does a trick. And ha ha, you. Isaiah breaks up the lane. Falls, but keeps the dribble. Twice. Now comes back toward the lane. To the hoop. Up in. Oh, off the glass of these fouls. Holy cow. Five seconds. Plenty of time to get a shot. Three seconds. Plenty of time. Ball handling, his spellbinding forte, and he is at his scintillating finest when it counts the most. You're looking at one of the most spectacular players in the game, a person who has abilities that surface during the year, but at crucial times he reaches another level of performance. There have been many celebrations for Isaiah, one of basketball's most heralded primetime acts. He loves to compete. He loves the big time, showtime atmosphere, and he's usually at his best. He'll probably do something very unique tonight. The Pistons are not the only ones to appreciate his immense value. When my first was I was wish that I could play with him. It would make my life a whole lot easier. <laughs> with him running up the court, dishing off passes, going to the, to the bucket. I mean, he's the, the point guard. If you want to say point guard to play with, he's, he's one of the top guys. For passionate performer Isaiah Thomas, the joy of winning his first championship is surpassed only by his love for his craft. I don't think I'll ever be able to find anything that uh, gives me the sense of enjoyment, the sense of pleasure that I get out of basketball. He makes his home in Southern California, where beauty is often taken for granted. And every street corner seemingly has a star waiting just beyond it. The Forum is his theater, and in a city of celebrities, the stars flock here to enter his enchanted world. Filling the arena nightly, they anxiously await his every move. Like few players before him, Irvin Johnson has come to define basketball showmanship for his era. The offense he directs is called Showtime, and he is known simply as Magic. No mirrors needed. His sleight of hand is pure wizardry. Scott Lofton, here comes Magic to pick it up. Magic in deep. Trying to go deep. Can't. Now he does on Perkins, throws up a prayer. Banks in and he's fouled. I'm
everybody over. Here comes Magic. He's got it. He's thrown on the way. With magic, even seeing isn't always believing. Out on the court, I can express myself. So it's like, whew, like you come down this way, whew, dunk. Matthews, beautiful basketball. Some 360, you know, hoopsy do, banger road. <laughs> Did he come back? The sky, huh? Magic against Humphreys back in the middle. Down the middle. A hook shot of five in the way. Yeah, you know, you come back to fancy pass. They're both back by Tuesday when they'll call the difference. So you just going back. So it's like a tennis match. And if you go down and reach for the popcorn, you might miss something. <laughs> Magic pass. Oh, and it's a worthy slam dunk. If you did miss something, Sit back and watch. Like all great performers, Magic usually saves his best for last. Wow. Away. They'll talk about it the rest of your life. Magic fired for three. Got it! At the buzzer! Magic hit a three-pointer! The Lakers win! Save to Green. Impressive play by Byron Scott. Magic has eyes everywhere and finds Worthy. Now here's Magic down the middle. Magic! Oh! Maddie's just a great basketball player. He's the best I've ever seen, you know. I... Unbelievable. I don't know what to say. When talking about magic, whatever is said is always in the superlative. Magic Johnson, one of the best, if not the very best player that ever played the game. Outstanding player, an even better person. He mesmerizes even those who don't pay the price of admission. Magic Johnson would definitely be the best point guard to ever play the game. He's something to watch, you know what I'm saying? There's not a lot of players in the league I would pay, to, you know, to pay to watch. If he came on once a week like the Cosby Show, I'd sit there and watch. <laughs> He's always got the smile going. He's always getting the, the crowd excited and uh, forcing everybody to play well. Owner of five championship rings, the decade's greatest showman may also be its toughest competitor. I want to be the best. I want to win. And that's why I play, because I want to win. Not just to be playing, not just to make a lot of money. I want to win. For what lurks is the high-tech wave of the future, known as Michael Jordan. Bulls need to string some hoops together. Jordan all the way to the hole. Oh, right over oh, Michael oh. Jordan and drew the foul. Is he of this earth? Jordan to the baseline. Is he man or machine? But make no mistake, 
He is no apparition. He is a devastating force that must always be reckoned with. I just know, you know, anytime Chicago comes in town, you have to leave your family and everybody else home. You don't want to be embarrassed. Gordon gets in. I remember an alley -oop went up in the air on the fast break, and I just knew I was going to get the ball. And all of a sudden, Jordan went up about 10 or 12 more notches than I did. <laughs> it's something that I'll never forget, but definitely enjoy to watch. And when you're playing against him, you're not ashamed to say you stand there in awe. guy literally is embarrassing the league. He's got good. He's a phenomenal player. Uh, there isn't anything he can't do. Oh, you find yourself watching sometimes because, you know, you know he's going to do something, you know, that you might not see again. Yet time and again, he is down. How does he do that? How does he do that? How does he know? Michael Jordan is one in a million player. Uh, they don't come along very often. Jordan. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win it! They win it! Set the Cleveland Jordan Cavaliers. has a dramatic way of seizing the moment. And for one spring afternoon in the 1986 playoffs, he took over the Boston Garden. As the burning flame of Celtic pride was overwhelmed by the non-stop pyrotechnics of one man. When I'm on my, my game, when I'm really on like I was in Boston, I don't think it's too many people that can stop me. I don't think it's anybody that can stop me. And once I got off to a good start, I just it felt like I couldn't stop. You know, I, I could run for days. I just wish that the game didn't have to stop. We could play, play on and on. We'd probably still be playing now the way I felt. Jordan's offensive onslaught was relentless, and the Boston faithful feared the worst as nobody seemed able to prevent the inevitable. If I get the ball, you have mercy of whatever I want to do. And there's nothing that you can say or do about it if I'm on my game. Jordan surged with confidence and consumed by this feeling, he was indomitable. The feeling is like you own. You own the ball, you own the game. You own the guy who's guarding you. You can actually play him like a puppet. The game raged into two grueling overtimes as Jordan single-handedly shouldered the burden for Chicago. Amassing a record-breaking 63 points, Michael put on a virtuoso performance that captured the imagination of the basketball world. Michael on the drive across the lane, turnaround shot, got it! 63 for Jordan! A new NBA record has been set in the Boston Garden. It is memories such as these that inspire Michael Jordan to reach new heights. They are the blueprints of basketball perfection. An unreachable dream that somehow seems almost within his grasp. Defying gravity and logic, Jordan himself seems as if out of a dream. Blurring the line between fantasy and reality.
is a natural wonder to behold. A constant source of amazement. The latest, greatest show on earth. The newest standard bearer in the NBA's proud tradition of showmen. Jordan is both a reminder of the past and a vision of things to come. And like the long line of innovative performers before him, he will push the game to its creative limits, challenging future generations to go still further in the quest for the ultimate in basketball artistry.